Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, September 7th, and it is Labor Day here in America. Labor Day is a great holiday. It's often considered the end of summer, and it's a wonderful three-day holiday. But we also tend to miss out on the meaning of this holiday. This is a day when we're supposed to thank uh, and give uh, just uh, acknowledgement to all those people, uh, working class people, who are uh, working hard uh, to keep our country and our lives running, well, as smoothly as they can be, even in these trying circumstances. Labor Day is also a day when we can focus and give thanks to God uh, for all of the vocations uh, and the callings and the giftedness that God has given us. Labor Day helps us to understand that all of the tasks that we do, no matter what we happen to be doing, uh, are things that we can do uh, and give thanks and glorify God through those occupations, those tasks, those chores, uh, even going to school, everyday tasks, work tasks, home tasks, uh, all of the labor uh, that we put in, as intensive as it may be, uh, is a way for us to glorify God. Before I pray, say a prayer for us, I have a short video that I would like to share with you. God, the earth, the moon, the sun, the stars, the oceans, the mountains, the trees that grow beside the waters, the animals that come to the stream to drink. It's all your work. You have created it. You gave us the sun which marks the days and the moon that marks the months. It all fits together like the workings of a clock. Then you gave us the ability to care for it all. You gave us the chance to care for each other. There is so much work to do, God. Help us to remember we do the work for you. If we cook, let us cook as though your son will be a guest at the table. If we paint, let us paint as though the picture will hang in your house. If we clean, let us clean as if your angels are coming to our home to dance. We will keep you in mind, God, in all things, in all we do. When we labor and when we rest, you created and you took a break. We will take this day and stop. We will breathe. We will appreciate the gifts you have given us, our hands, our feet, our minds, our hearts. We will look around and see our lives as a gift. We will be grateful for the jobs we have. We will pray for those who cannot find work. We will reach out a hand to help those who cannot help themselves. We will be grateful for this day, this moment set aside to say thank you to the one who began a good work and continues that work in us. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the ways that you have gifted us and you have placed us in unique positions. You have used our lives uh, to bring salvation and hope to the world around us. And you have used our efforts in order to glorify yourself and to bring truth uh, and good news to this world. We thank you for all the ways that you've gifted us and blessed us. We confess to you, Lord, that at times our attitude about the tasks, the occupations, the vocations, uh, and the work that we have before us, well, ha hasn't always been uh, the most helpful uh, of attitudes. Sometimes we're resentful. Sometimes we're jealous. Sometimes we're just plain tired and unable to do the things we've been called to do. Help us, Lord. Help us to glorify you with, uh, in everything that we do. Help us to uh, use the opportunities uh, and the moments that we have and the labor that you have given us uh, to bring hope and love and good news into a world that desperately needs us. We need your spirit to be moving, to be speaking, to be working, to give us a, a great work ethic so that we can glorify you uh, and be part of this mission that you've given us. Help guide us, equip us, and give us the right attitude and the strength uh, and the courage uh, to do the labor that you've called us to do. In Jesus' name we pray and ask for your blessing. Amen.
Amen. Uh, it is Monday. It's Labor Day. Enjoy the day. Uh, give acknowledgement and thanks to those who provide uh, any kind of services or labor uh, that helps your life in any kind of way. Uh, we will see you on Wednesday for our next devotion where we're going to continue our series in Titus. In the meantime, take care of yourself and look in on those people who are most vulnerable. Amen.